so now reading comprehension is something which is uh, you know the common in all exams all exams give you reading comprehension so there is no escape so those of you who don't like comprehension please start liking it because as i told you the cat a uh, 24 questions out of 34 which we were talking about here were from reading comprehension if it is a one hour paper if it was a 40 minute paper out of the 26 you uh, eight questions only were from verbal the remaining all of them 18 were from reading comprehension so reading comprehension definitely is the be all and the end all as they call it of the examination to ye to padhna hi abhi reading comprehension mein what level so for the other exams till the ift uh, say if you are referring to my book let's take that as standard mine and sharma sir's book which is called as verbal ability reading comprehension for cat the ninth edition is the latest one many of you have it already so if you have that book the level 1 is enough for the non cats so if you are doing level 1 comprehension lod1 that we call level of difficulty that is enough for the non cats but for cat and zat you will have to do till lod2 and in the book there are past papers and questions related to that so you will have to look at them also but in the preparation for cat it is not just solving it's not like quants that you read the formula of number system and you read the theory of number system and you go on solving it for the cat for reading comprehension apart from the solving there has to be some reading also and that is where your ability comes into the picture so when we are talking about uh, the preparation the preparation for cat for comprehension and for other topics are in two parts is in two two parts the first part is your question solving which everybody obviously tells you the other part is your ability improvement and that ability part is what you have to start off with immediately and question solving comes a little later now if you were preparing for say one year then i would tell you ki ability ko uh, two months tak uh, focus on your ability but abhi we don't have that much time so in the next 5 months you have to focus on your ability development together with your question solving and then what is your ability development so ability development is your reading your vocabulary and a little bit of basic grammar so that at least you know that the sentence is correct or it is incorrect that much so uh, but the reading part is very very important and vocabulary now vocabulary cat does not ask you the meanings of the words now last 5 6 years till uh, 2012 13 14 15 also actually cat used to ask word level questions fill in the blanks all used to come till cat 15 16 17 18 19 20 last 4 years we have seen no word level questions so these questions now don't come in cat but they come in the non cat so non cat right from xlri to zat to ift to nmat to snap focuses a lot on the word level the cats focus is on comprehension other exams focus is a lot on word level in fact for nmat snap ift and even a little bit of zat if you are good in the verb in uh, you know vocabulary you can actually gain a lot over others through questions like the fill in the blanks the synonyms antonyms and uh, you know idioms etc so that is there so this part for the cat the direct question may not come but i will tell you to prepare a little bit for this also so again if you have my book just solve the basic synonyms antonyms at least do some questions go through the high medium frequency word list so that high medium frequency words in the book basically are the must know words and those must know words are important for your comprehension also i'll tell you a exam question this was a cat paper i don't remember which year but uh, there was this that um, i had done something and uh, i was not without compunction when my other when my mother asked me to come down and eat i was not without compunction so this was written i was not without compunction and then uh, when my mother asked me to do something so this was what was written and the question that came was why was the author not without compunction 
Now, if you don't know the meaning of this word, you can never answer this question. Right. So any of you who knows the meaning of compunction? Yeah. So guilt. So guilty feeling. Yes, very good. Regret or guilt. Yes, exactly. So that is something that uh, you have to look at. And uh, so now, so why was the author not, I was not without compunction. Uh, what does this mean? How do you comprehend? Means he was actually feeling guilty. He was with compunction. Means he was feeling guilty. Not without. Aap dekh rao, double negative. And double negative kya ho jata hai? Quants mein minus minus is plus. And in English also, two negative words make a positive word. So he was with compunction. Means he was actually feeling guilty. That is what it means. Anna. So now, here we talk about, uh, yes, I'll talk about all the sources and all uh, and the book and everything. Just let's talk about the chapters. So here what I was trying to tell you basically was that even if they would not ask you the direct meaning of the word, still vocabulary has to be done a little bit. So if you have the book, as I told you, the name of the book, Verbal Ability Reading Comprehension for Cat, that is the name of the, you just Google my name and Sharma sir's name. And verbal ability book, you will find the name. So the ninth one is the latest. And uh, you should, if you're buying, please go with that. Because the sixth and seventh don't have all the chapters. Eighth or ninth, if you have, that's good. Okay, let's continue. So these chapters are there in the book. I would want you to at least, uh, you know, solve some of the questions. So at least 200, 300 questions in each chapter. Utna pura, if you, even if you don't do for the non-cats, at least do 50% of that. So 30 questions per week. If you keep a target, you can immediately till July ye wala aapka kaam ho jata hai, together with comprehension. Now comprehension kis liye, you have to keep on doing your reading and solving together. So let's, we'll come back to comprehension. Then we have the sentence level questions, which are fill in the blanks, the grammar exercises, phrasal verbs, sentence correction. So this part again is important for your non-cats. Fill in the blanks again used to come in the cat till around the... Uh, as I told you, 2015, 16, but after that, we have not seen it. But the ZAT gives you, the IFT gives you. So again, you can do it from the book. Fill in the blanks, again, you need vocabulary. Grammar, they don't ask you the rules of grammar. But they would ask you which sentence is correct or incorrect. Again, does not come in CAT now. Last five years, we have not seen sentence correction. But other exams do give some questions. Now we come to the questions in verbal, which are important for CAT. And these are the questions which in verbal ability are actually important for cats. So let's look at it separately. So parajumbles. Now, just like comprehension, parajumble is a question type which comes every year in the cat. So you have to be good in parajumble. And parajumble comes in the theta format. Now, this theta format basically means you have to type in the answer. Which means that type in the answer, meaning that the option is not given. You have to create your own option. Means A, B, C, D, B, A, C, D, A, A, C, D, D, whatever. You have to create your options. And uh, now coming to the other chapters. So irrelevant statement, which is also called as the odd man out. So that is important. The parajumble which comes every year in verbal ability. So four questions are there, even last year. And the summary. These two are the hot favorites last three years. So 433, three. normally this was uh, the number. Four parajumbles, three irrelevant statement and three summary questions. But in 16 and before that, Last sentence was also coming and critical reasoning now comes strengthen the argument of the author or weaken the argument of the author. This comes as a, a comprehension question also. So this is important and critical reasoning is also important for your ZAT in the question type of decision making. So again, this is an important chapter. So these two chapters, uh, the B and D critical reasoning and last sentence, which are also called as paragraph completion. Please don't leave these. So, ye paanch chapter pe focus karna hai in verbal ability for the cat in today's pattern. 
but as i tell you to be on the safe side the previous pattern questions like these please don't leave them thoda kar lo iska bhi preparation because say i'll tell you the summary question since i've been teaching this last 20 years and more actually so we have been following the cat for 20 years now now summary of the paragraph used to come in cat 97 98 99 2001 23 2003, 2003, 2003 ke baad summary question you know just disappeared and did not come and then it straight away came in 2016 so can you ask the cat ki bhai why did you bring back the summary question the people thought this is out of syllabus and not needed now the cat actually has no syllabus so my advice to you is focus on the current uh, topics but don't leave the question types that have come in the cat last 20 years because they can keep coming back again so my advice is ki thoda thoda prepare for these also because they have come in the cat last 20 saal mein they were coming in the cat quite regularly last 4 years we have not seen them last 4 years this is the pattern but questions keep coming back again so thoda prep and for non cats you have to prepare those question types 